Hey YouTube, it's Jacket here. And I'm going to be starting another game now. Uh, as well as doing Quake 2, I'm going to be doing Max Payne, as you can see. So. Uh, yeah, I've only just installed this on my PC, so. Let it load. You guys can chillax and watch the intro. I do love it, this intro. Well, the story is just brilliant, but hey. Here you go. Stand by 1010, investigated reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 foot dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Sounds hectic. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. So, here we are in the house, three years ago. What the hell? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Yep. <laughs> that, that becomes significant much later in the game. Ooh. And all of a sudden, I have a gun. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Things are gonna get much worse for Max. Damn, look. They could've at least left the place tidy. Michelle! That all of a sudden doesn't sound like Max. No, let me in there. Damn it. It's coming. Freeze! NYPD, drop it's it! Coming. That's right, die! No, 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 please God, no. So, the American dream. And that's all been ruined. I will kill you! No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Damn. 
can't imagine how anyone else could react to this. You just get like a group of insane people with mental insanities and No Sorry, I have to wait for that. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. So he's out undercover. Right, yeah, anyways. I couldn't handle if... if oh, I came sorry. in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. That metaphor. My Beretta man. stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. Man, you gotta love his swag as the well. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. So, immediately into the bit that says personal only. Lovely blood stains. More dead people. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Well, that's about three dead people you've seen in the space of about five minutes. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be toilets here, but these are just showers, apparently. There's another locker. Let's see what's in this one. The painkiller. Sweet. The pills would ease the pain. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? Oh, there, there's some You're bad guys. Hey. And now they're gonna die. Oh yeah. So, and that's the first lot of enemies dead. Oh, a desert eagle. Yeah. Damn. Come on, aim it. Okay, I better not keep using this gun. Yeah. Finally, back to my other point about, you know, the American dream gone wrong. I mean, the American dream is awesome. Hey, yo. Just gotta kill him first? Yeah, the American dream. And then, I don't know, if I went from, like, the American dream to, like, my family are dead by some crazed, insane patients, I'd probably end up, if not dead, something similar to Max here. Except, not even a NYPD or a, an undercover DEA agent. Sweet. A shotgun. The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. No and then, again, the them metaphors. There's gotta be a really good point about this game, dude. The story of a tragic hero. An actual full-blown story is just... This story, it just makes it look, look real good. And now I'm dual wielding. Every kid's dream. Okay, um... Oh, okay. 
I thought he was just napping. He probably still is. More painkillers. While looking for Alex, I had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Team Roscoe Bank ain't exactly Yo! Yo! Yo, bitch! You ain't black? And I've just dived without ammo. Oh, damn metal bars. The gate was locked. I would have to find another way to get to the tunnel. And there's another strong point about the game. Just the fact that just because you're playing the character doesn't mean he's now mute. It tries to make you... I don't know. If I'm talking sensitive. It tries to make you feel his emotion. And that was just horrible. I had to take two shots to kill him. You saved me. Yes. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Yes, a bro. He's not dead. I'm sure there's no bad guys up here. I've cleared the way, obviously. Kong whiskey makes you go ape. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> really now. Home free. This way. What the no. Ah. No. There's another dead, dead bro. Okay, where are they gone? Whack the, ah. Whack the soccer. No, let's not. Oh, this was smart. Badass. I'm not very smart. More painkillers on it? Nope. Everything here already seems to be shot. No thanks to me. Damn. That disappoints me. Aha! The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Damn it, there is no door number two. Well, there is, but it's locked, so. Open sesame. That's all I needed to do. That, that, that hitting the buttons there is just for show. Damn. This is a pretty yellow train. I don't know. I've never seen a train so yellow in all my life. And I'm just going to walk in and operate it myself. Americans. I don't know. Never seen an English inspection car. Yep, big pile of... Big so barrier in the way. Subtle. So much for being subtle. Yep, this is in the way, so let's just go straight into it. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, near death. I'm gonna take two painkillers because I've got plenty now. And I'm gonna need some more, and I. Grand. I'm gonna need a lot of barrister ammo now. I'm gonna have to start using them again now. Chapter 2.